is AC for beginner series. So I'm using mind map uh, software to you know how to understand the versions, uh, what are the roles, responsibilities for developer and database prospective. Okay, so yes, so Sybase AC. Uh, so since I'm working uh, for the Sybase AC from last uh, ten years, okay, so I see that there are the uh, versions I work on 12.5. 15.7 now these two are already end of life so currently there is a Sybase AC 16 version in the market okay so which will be end of uh, support by 2025 if you could see here yes and Sybase AC a database is mostly used and in, 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 in the BFSI domain that is banking financial domain okay uh, yes so we'll see the next is developer a developer role so which is basically SQL and PL SQL specific Yes, and we have more focus on the database admin part so as a DBA. So, yeah, so these are the tasks. So now we have again categorized this DBA task, uh, DBA task, uh, ta task and you know, system admin task, okay, and the roles uh, for the system admin task required and their respective functions, okay. So today we'll see first uh, what are the system admin tasks specifically, okay. So if you see the first task for Sybase admin is to install Sybase AC and configure the backup server. Okay. So yes. So how to install? There is a separate session. I'm going to take about it. So Sybase AC installation and configure the backup server as well. Okay. S then yes, after the installation is done, uh, we have to configure the logins. Okay. We need to create a login. Okay. We need to create. Uh, we need to add those login into the database. Okay. We call it the users. Okay, by SPR user, then granting rules and permissions on on this particular users. Okay, we'll see again this in in broader level. Then next task is for Sybase admin is managing and monitoring the uh, disk space. Okay, file system space. I would say it's memory consumption, connections. Okay, all the processes are running on the uh, Sybase AC. Then uh, the next task for Sybase admin is to backup and restore the database. So Yes, we need to ensure that after the business hour is finished, um, make sure that we are taking the full backup for the databases. And if there is a, a you know, uh, uh, it's a failure or a database crash, okay, or uh, we need to uh, restore the production data into the UA lower environment, maybe UAT, SIT environments. So we need to per perform the restore operations respectively. Okay. Yes, troubleshooting the system problems. Okay, we need to troubleshoot if there is a problem occurs on the Sybase AC. So troubleshooting is also part of Sybase admin task. Okay, and next is the configuring the Sybase AC or we need to tune this puff, tune the sub, uh, Sybase server to achieve the best performance. So this, so these are the basic primary task for a system admin for Sybase AC. Okay, so yes, and the next uh, 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 session we'll see uh, what are the roles required. I, I mentioned in here, but I. I'll just make make sure to you know cover all the part okay thank you